Okay, cool. Questions from audience. <laughs> Do we have questions, concerns? Um, a little bit, um, I would say, abstract. Um, one of the things that struck me when you were talking about uh, taxi flying. Um, Tell us who you are, please. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Perez Tigidan. Um, I actually run two companies. Oh. Um, I run Adena Newton, a marketing communications company, um, which I have been doing for seven to eight years now. And then um, last year we started a publication, a business news publication called Never Africa, um, which covers um, the economy and businesses across um, the different countries in Africa. Basically, what we are trying to do was to build um, the Bloomberg for Africa. Although we started with a partnership with Bloomberg and started running um, that system here um, in Africa. Um, I've had my own challenges, um, just like every other person um, has been talking about. But what I wanted to talk about was something I would say um, maybe a bit abstract, not measurable. Um, they talked about Taxify, it started in um, Estonia. Now, Estonia, not the US, not in the UK, Estonia. In three years, they were ambitious enough to move beyond Estonia, and here it is in Nigeria. I think there's an ambition gap with most of the businesses we find around here. So maybe because of the kind of thing I do, I talk with a lot of businesses, um, not even on the publishing side of things, um, our consultancy. And you listen to a lot of businesses and you don't see, you don't see ambition. You don't see ambition. It doesn't reflect on what they are doing. There's a, there's, there's a whole lot of um, subsistent attitude in the way we build businesses around here. So two weeks after we started um, the NEV, it was, it was a bit um, so ambitious that it reflected on the publication itself. We didn't go out to meet anybody for any kind of funding or investment. We had, um, we had put the, um, the fund aside to be able to run the publication. Two weeks, we got a random call. I was in the UK, um, I saw this publication. Are you interested in any investment? We said, okay, fine. If you're in Nigeria, let's talk. Two days later, the guy called, I'm in Nigeria, let's talk. And it didn't take three days. We concluded on all the conversations. Fifty thousand dollars was down. And the key thing for him, the statement he made was, "I could see the ambition written all over this." And for me, it's the ambition I want to form. And it's something I've always tried to do. It's something I've always tried to um, talk to a lot of businesses um, about. I've always tried because um, I, I would say I reached the peak of my career in communications at a very early, early stage when a lot of um, bigger companies were still yearning for that. We are just um, three years in business when we became um, official communications consultants for a state government. That was huge for us. And it, it's, yes, it, it's because of the way we positioned ourselves, the way we, we, we uh, put ourselves out there. I've been studying Taxify ever since it launched in this market. It's good I'm getting to meet um, you guys now, but you could see the <laughs> you could see the ambition written all over what they are doing. So when I hear the stories and everything, I could just shake my head like, yeah. You could see it written all over what they are doing. And one of the reasons I've been studying Taxify is because months before they launched in this market, I was actually consulting for a company that was about launching the same thing here in Lagos, and. One simple reason why that relationship did not um, move forward because there was lack of ambition. I can tell the many problems their model had and how Taxify, in fact, everything Taxify is doing today was one of the things I had penned down to say, look, if you want to fight a bigger competition in this market like Uber, you have to do some things like this. So the moment I saw Taxify, that's one of the first things I, I, I did to um, his team member. Take a look at these guys. These guys will succeed in this market. Those other guys, they launched. After two weeks, they are, no, they are nowhere in the market. Like, I would mention them. They probably would know. Yeah, so is there a way 
Is there a way we could measure and quantify something as abstract as an ambition? Because if, if you're ambitious, it tells on the way you tackle the problems, the problems yeah, in, you have internally if you're, if, you're, if you're ambitious. So there are times when, in fact, last year, we, we ran into a lot of problems because most of our um, spendings, um, we, are, we are in FX and everything. So when the whole Nigerian crisis um, started, we ran into a problem where we had to shut down. Shut down, office, everything packed up. But nobody knew aside our team that that was the level of crisis we are going through. We kept being ambitious, kept doing a lot of things. And the funny thing is that in, in eight months after we launched, in that period of crisis, now we would have just packed up, say, okay, we started this business eight months, this is the kind of crisis we are having. In that state of not having anything, not having an office, everybody was just working from home, demoralized and everything. We kept our focus, the ambition and everything. And we generated, we generated much more than we got even from the investment in that one single year in eight months. How? It's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> Another break in the episode. <laughs> it's a different Another story. Another episode. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, cool. Two weeks, two weeks ago, we got a new set of guys who are saying, look, we saw what you guys did November last year. Um, we, we branched off from content into um, events and one of the things we tried to do was um, to host a premium business event. Um, I worked with The Economist when they came to Nigeria in March last year to um, do uh, an event here where one of the media companies I worked with, the media partners. And I told myself, I said, I will not be in Africa and a company will come from outside of Africa and host the biggest business event here in Africa. So if you ask if you ask a lot of people to pinpoint uh, maybe the best business events, the point events from outside, World yeah. Economic Forum. In fact, okay. I specifically spent a lot of time in Rwanda last year at the World Economic Forum just to see the model of the that model. event and we designed after that. And I said no, the economists will not do another event here in Lagos. My event has to be that. And we did well, sorry to say this, but I think we did a much better event. Yes, I followed that event though I didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> we did a much better nice. event and Immediately we finished that event, we had people approaching us to say, look, um, we want to put in $250,000 into what you guys are doing. This would help you scale a little yeah. bit more mm -hmm. to Africa. Now, you could see that the only thing we are doing is working on our ambition and yeah. attracting the funds. True. We are not going up. You will hardly see me if you are pitching anywhere. You see me. He doesn't come out. He doesn't uh, come well, out. We had, we had to drag him out. <laughs> I really go out. I really go anywhere. Yeah. Of course. Right? <laughs> we have one thing in common. I actually have a contrary opinion to your point about the ambition gap. Okay. Um, I, I feel that Nigerians especially, we are, we are quite ambitious people. I would rather say we don't have the education. People don't know what to do. You, you told these guys something about whatever they were going to work on, right? Do this, do that, do this, do that. It, because they did not follow your model does not mean they're not ambitious. I don't think it bothers on ambition. People need information. Awareness. They what? need education. <laughs> okay, so the basic thing is So the ambition, the passion, it all comes from the vision. Right? So a lot of Nigerian companies, their vision is for as entrepreneurs, they want to blow. Right? Exactly. I want to make money. And blow is not measurable. Necessary. So that's my point. So basically, most people actually want to live better than others. That's why they're starting businesses. Yeah. I've had other people tell me, I'm starting my business because I'm going to make more money than working for somebody. It's not because I want to take my business out of Africa. Or, you know, that's cool. basically cool. why many sure. people are starting their businesses. Sure. So they can live comfortably. 
Mm-hmm. So that's why you see many Nigerian businesses, you know, they have good plans, but they just want to stay here. Right? So basically when there's the O and B, you know, they get celebrated and all that. But they only want it here. Yeah. Because you know they want to be recognized among the Nigerian elite. They don't want to move forward. And if you look at the Nigerian em- entrepreneurs, they are looking outside of there. They're doing well. Yeah, still they have yeah. vision. True. Once your vision is limited to within your confines, you won't succeed in the term. You can be big in Nigeria, but how big do you want to be? If I want to be big Africa big, I'll think big Africa big. Right. So they basically tax five started in Estonia. The guy was 19 years old. And that, that, that's an amazing part of that story. His vision <laughs> in, in Nigeria, right? And another thing, we all share the same vision. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, we want to make you know transportation easy for everybody. Yeah, that's problem. the vision we have. We don't want to just you know have an app that people use in Nigeria. We don't just yeah. want to have an app that people use in Lagos. We want to change transportation in the whole world. And you know that's just basically it's the vision that matters. So where did the idea come from? What propelled you to start your business? That's what changes the. If you're big in Nigeria, you're actually big. Right. So, 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 so it does so, not depend, so, though. So, 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 Eighteen million. So, 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 into Switch, right? Which was the fastest growing company in Africa, like say two years ago. Yeah. Right? It's. I mean, they were based here. Right now, they're looking further. First, they open mm-hmm. up. You know, um, powering vans in, in, in other places. Um, I think it's I think important it to, as a startup to have a vision to go beyond you know, just your starting ecosystem, right? Even from the beginning, right? As you said, vision, right? Otherwise, you never go beyond that, right? And certain investors now that are coming into the ecosystem actually looking for that um, as one of the criteria of whether they want to fund you, right? Um, but I, I think that sometimes there are certain entrepreneurs I know that are doing well locally, but it's that um, uh, awareness and mentorship. I think mentorship, again, right, helps you see beyond where you are. A lot of times we blame the entrepreneurs. They're the ones who did it. You know, they're trying very hard locally, right? But they need sometimes they need that, that you know yeah. somebody who guides them. Hey, why don't you try you know this place? Why don't you try you know Peter Thiel or Facebook, right? A lot of ideas he brought in first at the beginning. You know, Mark Zuckerberg didn't have, right? So that's yeah. you know you credit Mark Zuckerberg with them, right? But then it's that layer of experienced mentors that tell you, look, you must look all investors. Mm-hmm. I think you know that that again is 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 really needed. So education, mentorship, um, would would really help uh, some of the more successful guys locally to just open their eyes a little bit Maybe and have broader vision. If there's one thing you would take away from everyone here is that I'm sure your narrative will change. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, for it's me, kind of honestly, it's just reaffirmed my excitement at being in this space. I've never been to Nigeria before, didn't know very much about the space. Get a coconut, and he has to break one. <laughs> it's just Go very exciting, it. that's all. Okay, cool. <laughs> another another cool. series of examples of companies that are doing amazing work and opportunities in the space, and it's been great to be here. Okay, so welcome. So this is a tradition, we have to break a coconut. So you're the guest in our list. I have to break the coconut. You have to break it. So let's, let's have you're one. You're strong enough. <laughs> this is going to end in tears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, with a butcher's knife. So don't worry about the water. Coconut. Coconut. Just, just try, let's see how. So don't hurt yourself, I'm scared. Thing, yeah. If you <laughs> drink the water in coconuts, you'll be dull. On the table? Like, this is probably someone's table. It obviously is someone's table. I think it's better on the floor. Okay, so pick the, the probably, I've never broken it, like I just literally... Don't hold it all, you might, might careful, hurt yourself. I'm careful you hurt yourself. It's like... Can we use the, there's, the no, there's no first aid here. Yeah. Have you done this before? Is there a several process? Times, yeah. Several times. No, you you, you break coconuts all the time. Smash it on the floor. Right? <laughs> so this is the process. Okay. Process one, break it. Process two, just break it. <laughs> process three, find how to break it. <laughs> Mum, this is how I lost a finger. <laughs> Like, like, are you, this? You, no. you use your left hand. I'm left handed. <laughs> okay, okay, someone has to help him, please, so we don't have a problem here. Just, no, no, no. Flip this. So use the yeah, blunt side. Use the blunt side and just hit it. And literally just hit it like that? No, no, no. Oh, so the blunt side oh, up. On the, the, on the, on the, on the, oh, there you go. Uh, maybe that might work. Maybe that might work. Uh, you're asking. Yeah, you're go. trying, you're trying, you're not, you're not there yet. I haven't broken my coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done this before? Who oh, help us out? Someone <laughs> help me. You no, go no, 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 help us out. Really? Someone has to break it. Okay, Here is where I lose the film. <laughs> oh, geez. It's not happening. Really? Really? Let the lady do it. Okay, let's let her do it. <laughs> oh, shit. She He's really it. unrelenting. Okay, no <laughs> Third time lucky. <laughs> do you have a hammer? A hammer would do it. 
Yeah. I heard a crack. I see one. It's a, this is, I think the knife is... Oh my gosh! Well, you are using the blunt end to be fair. It's broken! Kinda, but it's just not... Okay, there we go. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. you can't, you can't <laughs> break the coconut alone. Don't you can't give break it it everything is a team effort. So, so we had a team to break this coconut. Oh yeah. I hope this tells the story. Okay guys, good, so good one last thing, we have to cut the cake. We have a cake for BTC. So get oh, the cake really? for First us. First give us fruit and then give us cake. So we're generous in Africa. We do this <laughs> okay. like that. Great. That's actually healthy. So we just um, stand around the, cook the cake and we call it the day. Okay, okay, really okay before, before, okay, let me cake. Really <laughs> and the price of this coconut has increased. It goes for five thousand dollars now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a coconut on the coconut oh, cake. Wow. Ah. Okay, this is the cake. Ah. You guys take this whole coconut. Now everybody here seriously. comes, and we try to cut this cake. So everyone, he, everyone stands up. So you see that he gives us the hard job. He cuts the cake. <laughs> no way. And he gives us the coconut to break. Okay, you James, come here. Oh, I'm, doing, oh, I'm doing the cake too. No way. You are guest. <laughs> okay. So everyone comes around. Yeah, let's All come right. around here. Yeah. No, it's not that deep. Are you going down? No, this is your hard work, James. Don't worry, just stand. It's not that stand. deep. <laughs> Everything is beginning to look like a coconut Ceremonial team. cut. Ready? You don't have to bend. Is there, is there some particular ceremony? No, you don't cut it yet. Just... Don't cut it? Not yet. Not so yet. this is how we do it, right? Say oh, I have to say cup. something. So it goes this way. Say coconut. And then everybody goes. Okay. All right, everybody. Right hand on the knife, I guess. Okay. Oh, okay, we're, then... all, we're all doing it. Okay. Um... So at the count of one, really? at the count of three. How about I just shout coconut? Coconut or breaking a coconut? Breaking a coconut. Okay. okay. <laughs> one, two, three. Breaking, breaking the coconut! coconut!